Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars. Let's do it. Our first one today is by Great White Monkey, titled Entitled Brat Upset That The Snow Removal That Someone Else Pays For Happens Too Early For Her. To the guy my boyfriend's dad is paying to remove snow from our driveway, can you maybe consider not doing it at 6am? We paid you to remove the snow, not to wake everyone up including my one year old. Thanks. I mean, you paid them to remove the snow, not remove the snow at a certain time, so whenever they get around to doing it is when they do it. This next one is by Jay Webbel, titled Super Aggressive. Is that a smart TV? No, I put in the ad it wasn't. If it was smart, it would be 250 to 300 at minimum for a 50. They're new from that. I'm standing in front of them now. Have a nice day. Okay, then why even message me? Maybe read the ad next time. Look, little child, lose your attitude. It's too easy to track your fucking address down, and I'm the motherfucker to do it. I was not ride with rude, so don't try fucking with me. I mean, you may be the person to do it. However, you're also the person to leave a paper trail, so if anything happened to them, you're going to be probably suspect number one. This next one is by Kaiser's Closet, titled, She Only Had About 200 Followers. Hi, I am a young Instagram model and I am just now starting to pursue my hopefully future career and I love your product so much and I was wondering if you can send me some so that I can shout them out on my Insta. Much love to your business, Beggy. Okay, playing devil's advocate here, I know a lot of people ask companies and individuals for items so they can shout them out on their Instagrams, Twitters, whatever, but this person is just starting out, so how do they think they really have grounding to go and make a request like this? This next one is from Matharudomy, titled, A full-time position that should pay more than $80 a day is paying $80 a month. But hey, potential for a raise. Wanted, Director of Game Production, pay $80 a month with potential for raise, bonuses, and other work perks. Project, blank business simulation tycoon blank, game in mid-development stages blank. Responsibilities, manage, supervise, and direct the game team consisting of programming, game art, UI design, and music sound effects. Proactively engage with the community to ensure they are testing for bugs. Consistent update meetings with higher ups. Provide insight and guidance on game progress. Understand players needs and anticipate future features that may be wanted. Requirements 16 years of age or older. Owning a working microphone and be able to speak in voice meetings over Discord application. Working understanding of Game Maker Studio 2 and video game production stages. Track record of managing team projects and driving them to completion with minimal guidance. High degree of leadership, initiative, attention to detail, and something else I can't see. Who in their right mind thinks anybody would go for this? $80 a month? I bet who typed this up wouldn't even work for $80 a month. This next one is by 5150 Star, titled, I need it cheap or free, but it must have these specs. Ugh. In search of a smart TV, very cheap or free, ours got broken, needs to be Wi-Fi capable for Netflix and Hulu, would like a 46 inch or larger. When I see things like this, I wonder what goes on in beggars' heads, but then I correct myself and say, yeah, I don't really want to know what goes on in their head because it's clearly a mess in there. This next one is from Wasteland Soul, titled Influencer, wants a brand new leather jacket, but 10% off isn't good enough. I'll wear this on stage and in videos if you give me one or sell me one at a lucrative price for my wallet. Thank you for your interest. Enjoy 10% off your first order. Use the coupon code VILLAIN. You can check out collections here. Sends link. I can do better at Buff Exchange. If you can do better at Buff Exchange, then take yourself there. You're just like the other beggars I can get it elsewhere, when in reality, they usually can't. This next one is by Comedy Merchant, titled, Famous Artist Tries to Get Out of Paying for a Weight Loss Plan. Hey, I heard you do fitness plans. Yes, absolutely. I'm a huge fan of your work, by the way. 
Okay, I need to lose weight. Please, can you help me? I ate a lot on Christmas. Now I feel fat as fuck. I can certainly help you with that. To get started, I'm gonna need you to fill out this Google form so I can get some information I need from you. Sends link. Okay, I filled it in. When will it be ready? I'll try to have it ready for you before the end of the day. Is that okay with you? Just make sure you pay me before then so I can send it to you straight away once it's finished. Is that okay with you? If it works, I'll pay you. I'm sorry, but I have to insist on taking payment first. I need to know it's legit beforehand. I'll tell my friends if it's good. I'm sorry, but as much as I admire you as an artist, I have to insist on taking payment first. I can offer you a full refund if you're not satisfied with the plan, which I'm sure you will be. Now I know you're not legit. Sorry, but I won't be going through with this. You know, I'm genuinely confused at the double standards of this beggar. I guarantee you they wouldn't sell their artwork, or rather not sell it, but give it away for free, so why do they think they can get a fitness plan for free? And our final one is from Sufficient Advice 79 titled, Trying to give away dog food I was refunded for and told to give it to someone. Chewy is awesome. Said on the post it was for pickup only, then choosing beggar entered. Okay, if I were selling these, I'd consider delivering, but since it's free and I just want to get rid of it, I'm looking for whoever can come and get it in the next couple days. I will let you know tonight if my neighbor will be willing to come to Carlos after we drop my son off in the morning. It's nearly midnight and I didn't hear from you, so I've moved on to the next person who is picking it up tomorrow. I'm sorry, I went to bed. She said she was going to let me know. I think it's kind of rude to do this to someone who asked for it first when I came out and told you that my car is broke down and you said a couple days. It's free. I shouldn't have to work around your schedule of getting back to me. I waited till nearly midnight. The couple days was the plan you were supposed to make by last night. I'm not waiting till your car is fixed. It's not fair to the other people who can actually come get it. Disabled son and I'm disabled and my income is fixed and I can't get my car fixed till I get paid. I told you in my comment that my car is not able to drive due to overheating. I would have been willing to give you what cash I have left for a delivery fee. I'm a single parent to a special needs child and I was pretty exhausted. Given the way things are going in the world, just maybe knowing I'm in a situation temporarily that if you also want the food gone and I have no way to get to there at the moment, maybe you would have been willing to maybe bring it to me, but I see you're maybe just not that kind. Besides, my dogs are also nearly out of food. Could have brought it to me, but it's okay. You can move on to the next person, because I'm not driving out to Carlos today. The roads are bad, and it's my friend's van. I also told you in my very first message, find a way to get it picked up in the next couple of days or I'm moving on. I was up front as well. Your dogs are nearly out of food, yet you said this was only for a treat for them. I'm not that kind. So you're insulting me and still wanting the thing I'm giving away for free. There's no need for further discussion as that tells me everything I need to know about what kind you are. Wow. I thought I had till Thursday per yesterday's message. Can you figure a way to pick this up in the next couple of days? Otherwise, I'll move into the next person. I just want it out of our way. I never said anything about Thursday. I said figure out how to get it picked up and have it picked up in the next couple of days. It wasn't a timeline for you to figure it out. It was to have it picked up. Most people on these sites say pick up same day or first. None of this matters. You annoyed me by insulting me as I'm trying to give away free stuff. There's a name for this. Choosy beggar. I'm done with this. I've moved on to the next who didn't comment on a post when she had no way of getting it. I won't be responding anymore as we are not doing business. You know, one thing I do not understand and I don't think I ever will understand about these beggars is when somebody's giving something away for free, they always want it delivered to them for free as well. Now I know this beggar offered to give them what cash they had left for a delivery fee, but still, it's the fact that when they're giving something away for free and they say pick up, it's just that, pick up. Alright, 
that's enough beggars for the day. Well, that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell and drop a comment down below. Thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons. Have a great day and stay safe out there.